All right, here we go. Just turn on the thermostat. So you see the light on. It'll turn off in a bit. But anyways, World Cup is here, obviously. Nothing but athletes, obviously. I want to play football, obviously. So I thought about gym class, obviously. I should be a rapper. <laughs> no, no, no. But all jokes aside, thinking about soccer or football, soccer, football, what's it called? You know what I mean, though. I was thinking about all the times I played the sport in gym class. And more specifically, all the crazy things that would happen in gym class. The sun isn't as strong today, but in elementary school, gym was just indoor recess. It was really fun, especially when they brought out the mighty old parachute. Because come on, that was peak childhood. If we walked into gym class and saw that bad boy on the floor, oh! Moment of silence to the kids who were absent that day. But even worse, a moment of silence to the kids who were there but couldn't participate. And I'm not talking about behavior. Because in elementary school, if you didn't have a pair of sneakers for gym class, you couldn't participate. Several kids, however, really didn't care about gym class, so they would purposefully wear flip-flops or boots. They would cheat the system. That way you don't gotta participate and you would just chill on the wall. However, the few days that we would play with the parachute, you can see the regret in these kids' eyes that they didn't bring sneakers that day. Bro, let me borrow yours my buddy Marcus was wearing slides that day and he couldn't participate so he wanted to borrow my sneakers come on dude I'll buy you ice cream you really want to borrow these I didn't budge, so instead he convinced another friend to borrow his shoes. Thanks, Alex. I'll make sure you do your homework for an entire week. And Alex's shoes were way too big for Marcos. Eh, but he didn't care. We were then having a blast running under the parachute, taking turns. Come on, Jorge. Come on, come on. However, when it was Marcos' turn to run under the parachute, the giant shoes he borrowed fall off his feet and he trips. Everybody then starts laughing at him. Man, I should have just brought my own shoes. So... Don't borrow shoes. <laughs> I don't know why that was a thing in elementary school. Anyways, let's fast forward to middle school where we were actually able to change. Why did I walk in like that? <laughs> Changing was both a blessing and a curse. And that first week of middle school, everybody felt awkward. I'm not gonna change in front of boys. Yeah, a lot of us were really uncomfortable and insecure. Take your shirt off first. I'll take mine off once you take yours off. Hey, yo! Some kids had their gym clothes under their actual clothes. Sneak attack 100. However, after gym, when they were running around and their t-shirts were drenched, there was no way that they were gonna put their hoodies back on. Ah, uh, some did though. And the smell was really strong. The gym locker rooms would be really loud too. People would bang on the lockers and make a beat. They would have challenges on who could slam the lockers the loudest. Oh, that's nothing, man. We would already be tired by the time we would go to the actual gym. And in middle school, we would always play handball. You know that game, right, where you get a ball and you throw it in a net? It's like soccer, but with hands. Football, but with hands. I feel like I'm just confusing myself. Let me just continue my story. <laughs> I would usually be goalie, and I would be a pretty damn good one. And some kids were so ruthless, though. They would throw the ball so hard, and I wouldn't be surprised if smoke was coming out of it. And when a ball that fast and hard is coming towards you, I had to decide as as a goalie. Do I want to say, how not dodge the ball and let it go in the net? Or do I take it like a champ? Majority of the time, I would take it like a champ and it would knock the win out of me every single time. So many friendships would be ruined from this game as well, especially being in middle school, because things would get pretty chaotic. This one time, we were playing a match and we were tied with only 30 seconds left in it. So what were kids doing to run out the clock and make sure no more goals were gonna get scored? <sighs> pantsing each other. As if the story could not get any more sus. Our team was getting so scared that we started double knotting our pants. And we would grab tightly on them with our hands. Which was a disadvantage because you needed your hands to play Hannibal. <laughs> Jeez, what happened there? Which was a disadvantage because you needed your hands to play handball. And when they got to the last kid, who was the one that was closest to us on the sidelines, they pantsed them so hard that his underwear fell down too. It's still scarring thinking about it. And that threw me and my entire team off that we got scored on at the very last second and lost the match. Man, not only did we lose this game, I'm forever scarred. The craziness of gym class. Right, Michael? Yeah, he looks pretty scarred too after what I shared in this story. And we go back to the locker room, but when we go back, everybody was getting a little rowdy. Hey, my stuff is all messed up in my locker. Yeah, mine too. We started freaking out because while we were playing handball, some kid snuck into the locker room. And he opened all the lockers and messed around with all the stuff. However, the kid didn't actually steal anything, which just threw us all off. Instead, he just decided to mess with all our things. You know, it was like an invasion of privacy because everything was a mess. Hey, Jorge, here are your shoes. 
thanks, man. Here's your backpack, too. We spent 10 minutes reorganizing ourselves, and we're all late to our next class. The gym teacher, however, he gave us all passes to bring to our next class because he saw what happened. So all in all, make sure to bring a lock, too, for your things. Because who knows what can happen? Also, try to bring a lock for your pants, if that's possible. A belt. Yeah, yeah, bring a belt. Bring a belt for gym class. Cling, cling, cling. Yes, sir. We're trying to hit 100K subscribers on the brand new Clips channel before the end of the year. So let's see if we can try to do that. Thank you so much for watching. See you.